Welcome to summer of 2021. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. This summer, I think it's safe to say it will be a year like no other for the second year in a row. But I think this year, it's a year like no other for a much better reason. Welcome everybody tuning in here on our Memorial Day weekend. Let's start off with our Memorial Day weekend ratings. Monday looks to be the best day of the weekend. That is something we have been saying all week long. Friday's a C plus, Sunday's a D plus, Saturday just getting out of the failure range with a D here. When you add that all up and average it out, you get to a C. So where does that put us in context of history? Well, better than last year, not as good as 2019, which was pretty fantastic all the way around. We have a C for 2018. Here's a look at our Memorial Day weekend planner. So depending on what you want to do, there are days for you. If you want to hit the beach, Monday's going to be great for that. Boardwalk days, those days where our it's pretty dry, but it's not necessarily warm. It might be breezy. That's going to be Friday and Sunday. Make sure to look for Claire Lowe and I. We will be on the boardwalk. We'll be in Ocean City around 945, Wildwood around 11 a.m., and we will be in Atlantic City around 1.30 p.m. Sunday will also be one of those days. And if you want a day where you can be inside and not look out the window and say, geez, you know what? I should really get outside and enjoy the nice weather. Well, Saturday will be the day for you. Here's a look at our setup for Friday. Low pressure moves in from the Ohio River Valley as it nears us, rain develops. Showers after 10 a.m. today, steady rain after 6 p.m. on our Friday. Then as we go into Saturday, one low pressure is gone, another low pressure comes, northeasterly wind, plenty of rain to go around for our Saturday, and a lot of wind as well. Sunday, not as much wind, not as much rain. And then as we go into Monday, finally that low pressure gets on out of here. We get a northwesterly wind, drier air, and some sunshine. In terms of rainfall, we're looking for one to two inches of rain generally. I know Oceans County is showing a little bit more than two inches, but the point is it's a good beneficial rain for us. We do need the rain. We are in abnormally dry conditions by the United States Drought Monitor. That is a pre-drought stage. And considering that a lot of this rain is coming over a long period of time, we won't see much flooding from the rain itself. Now, that's a different story when it comes to the coastal flooding because we're going to have this howling northeasterly wind on Saturday. Really, it's going to start Friday night. 30 miles an hour sustained, gusts up to 40 or 45 along the shore. It's just not going to be a nice day Saturday. And yes, we are talking about coastal flooding. We have the minor flood stage for Friday during the PM high tide. That's between 10 to 11 PM, between 11 PM to midnight. That's our Saturday PM high tide. Cape May looks to be in moderate flood stage. The point is it's minor to borderline moderate. Blocks of inland flooding inland from the bay will occur. Do move your cars if you need to. And be prepared for some roadway closures. It might be brief, but Black Horse Pike, White Horse Pike, Welling, uh, excuse me, Dorset Avenue Bridge, they all could be closed for a period of time as we go into not only our Saturday night, but our Friday night as well. Temperatures will start out around 60 for our Friday. We're getting up into the low 70s here as we make our way into the afternoon. Rain showers start after 10 a.m., steady rain after 6 p.m. here. Then as we go into Friday night, pretty much a soaker all evening long. So if you're going out, if you're going to the bar, you're going to the club, uh, make sure you have some kind of wet weather gear because if they're going to make you stand outside waiting in line, you are going to get soaked here on our Friday night. Temperatures will be in the mid to upper 50s for our highs. Here's a look at our Memorial Day weekend on the mainland. Windy, very windy on Saturday, rainy for most of the day. Temperatures only in the low 60s. We'll call it Sunday, Saturday, Junior, not as rainy, not as windy, not as chilly, but still not a great day here. Monday will definitely be the better day. Same story over at the shore as well. Temperatures is a little bit different here. Here's a look at our mainland seven day forecast. Let's take you beyond Memorial Day weekend, show you what's going on because we got June coming up next week, everybody. And we're talking about temperatures pretty seasonable, especially as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday, that humidity builds. We start to get some thunderstorms and I'll tell you what, I think as we go into our first full weekend of June, it's going to be that typical kind of summer weekend. We're going to see some heat. We're going to see a good amount of humidity, and we're going to be talking about thunderstorm risk all weekend long here. So Memorial Day weekend really does look to be the anomaly here when we look at the past couple of weeks prior and the past couple of weeks or the next couple of weeks to come. We do have that hurricane seminar on June 1st. That's the start of hurricane season. You don't want to miss that. Check that out on my Facebook page. Not only can you go to Joe Mart WX for Facebook, but you can go to Instagram as well. And you can always find me on our website at pressfacecom slash weather.